तो नमस्कार सत्याकाल आदाब आपका स्वागत है इस नए चमचमाते पॉडकास्ट के ऊपर जिसका नाम है एग्जैक्टली exactly ऑपोजिट और मैं हूं आपका अपना जिगरा यारा दोस्त सखा रितेश उर्फ वॉइस वन तो आज की इस पॉडकास्ट का टॉपिक रहने वाला है द कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल मर्डर मिस्ट्री ऑफ द नाइन्टीज दिवा दिव्या भारती जी दिव्या ओम प्रकाश भारती वॉज अ मैग्नेटिक परफॉर्मर इन द नाइन्टीज एंड वर्क इन मेनी हिट्स लाइक विश्वात्मा दीवाना शोला और शबनम एक्सेट्रा Born on the 25th of February 1974 in in Mumbai, she she started her career in 1990 when she was just 16 years old, starring in the Tamil blockbuster film Bobbily Raja opposite South actor Venkatesh. She gradually climbed the ladder of fame and reached a position among the top actresses of Bollywood. Her first Hindi venture was the action thriller Vishwatma. The cast of Vishwatma movie included. Nasiruddin Shah, Sunny Deol, Amrish Puri and Jyotsna Singh besides Divya Bharati ji. The song Saath Samundar became an eminent melody of the year and publicized the young Divya Bharati as a heartthrob of the country. The actress then performed in Shola and Shabnam and Deewana achieving the best film debut in the Film Fair Awards. This magnetic charm that Divya had banked box office hits for her movies. This gorgeous dream girl shocked the world when her death news headlined the TV channels on the morning of 6th April 1993. At approximately 10:30 p.m. the previous night, she had fallen from the window on her fifth floor apartment in Varsova, Mumbai. Sitting perched on the window sill, she was chatting with her maid Amrita, who had taken care of Divya since she was 10 years old, and her friends Nita Lulla and Nita's husband Shyam Lulla when the unfortunate accident happened. She was then hurriedly admitted to the Cooper Hospital in Mumbai where she took her last breaths. The doctor's report stated that Divya had several head injuries and had internal bleeding throughout her body. The actual pictures of the post-mortem report of the case have been attached in the description for the keen minds. Divya Bharati was cremated the next day on 7th April 1993 in the Villaparle crematorium. Even after 29 years the case has been somewhat of an exploration route for those who bestowed with the murder related cases the details of the incident are still present through various unending theories after marrying sajid nadiawala the famous bollywood producer on 10th may 1992 the actress divya bharti wished for a bigger apartment in mumbai this wish was completed when she bought a flat on the 5th floor tulsi apartments was sova andheri west mumbai the same year The flat she had purchased was the only one without safety grills on the window. This overlooking habit was one of the most significant contributors to this accident. The witnesses of these incidents were Amrita the caretaker of Devya, Dr. Sham Lulla a psychiatrist and Neeta Lulla who was a fashion designer for an upcoming movie Devya was about to star in. They all have reported that the accident was shocking for all the people involved. The twist to this mystery comes with the fact why Divya chose up to sit on the ledge of her window while she was drunk and the circulating facts of the case suggested that she was pushed from the window and the situation was covered with a so called fake build up also many of her close friends and relatives turned down these fake facts who confirmed that she was interested in playing around with risky situations and loved to do stunts The parking just below Divya's flat too came into suspicion as the building residents confirmed that every day during the time of 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. a car of a living tenant was parked at the spot but the sad day of Divya's death the place was empty which made her fly down directly on the concrete floor again the floor pictures are in the description for those who are keen to see the tangible evidence of this case another fact that was kept in discussion was that she had cancelled a planned shoot in Hyderabad with a producer for her upcoming movie the same day and that she had stated she could not come for the shoot due to a left leg injury this angle too has driven many perspective to this case there is to a depression angle to this story which states that divya bharti was suffering from severe depression and coped with her energetic behavior in the public to compensate for her voids divya bharti was one of the highest paid actresses of her time and also For her 19 years of age, she had achieved an enormous feat of possessions and associates. Her unreleased films were Jaan Se Pyara, Geet, Dushman, Zamana, Dil Aashna Hai, Shatriya, and Balwan. Her uncompleted films were Mohra, Kartavya, Vijay Pat, Dil Wale, and Adolan. Her final completed films to be released were Rang and Shatranj. 
even in the future years her legacy is living on with her co-stars like Shahrukh Khan who stated one of the finest actors that I have ever worked with is Divya Bharti and Sunil Shetty who stated I have not yet seen another actress who is as talented as Divya Bharti I don't think anyone will have that much talent which she possessed her talent was unbelievable she could do masti and bachpana fun and childish behavior before the shoot commenced and when asked for she would give such a perfect shot that i would forget my own dialogues actor chanki pande had stated her to be a chulbuli in his life and that she was full of life energy and love to work with him in vishwatma actress karishma kapoor tributed divya bharti in many of her early movies and has stated divya ji was truly wonderful in the movie deewana i could not take my eyes off her we miss her a lot In one of the recent interviews a new generation star Varun Dhawan has stated Divya Bharti ji was one of the actresses from the 90s with whom he would have loved to work Anushka Sharma remembered Divya Bharti on an interview I became a huge fan of Divya Bharti after watching her songs I would dance to almost all her songs especially Saat Samundar My mother did not tell me for about a week when she had passed away because she knew that I would break down The spurs of this never-ending case have been linked with the recent Sushant Singh Rajput death case, with the setting of both scenes being linked with the Cooper Hospital and the Bollywood. So that's it for this podcast, guys. Zarur mujhe aap niche bataiye ki aapko ye episode acha laga hai nii. Episode ko like kijiye, apni podcast ko follow kijiye, subscribe kijiye agar aap YouTube pe dekh rahe to. Also, aap mujhe zarur bataiye ga ki aise solo podcast aapko acha lagte hai kya? This one was especially in English. क्योंकि लाइक जो चैट्स है जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है वो हिंदी में बताना बहुत ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लमैटिक हो रहा था इट वाज गेटिंग डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू प्रेजेंट दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इन हिंदी इसके लिए ये इंग्लिश में आप स्पेशली मैंने बनाया है ऑल्सो मुझे बताते रहे कि सोलो पॉडकास्टिंग मैं कंटिन्यू करूँ विद द यूजल कैंडिड चैट्स गोइंग ऑन टिल नेक्स्ट टाइम दिस इज वॉइस वन साइनिंग ऑफ पीस आप